There's my bad girl. <laughs> Certainly not, you buffoon! <laughs> We're all going insane in here with boredom. You are so lucky I don't have the right to castrate you! <laughs> you can't do this, Captain Lee! Welcome to St. Clair's Correctional Institute! Recording this sentence. We were friends once. Mm -hmm. You were once pillars of the community. Hence the reason why I've decided to render the judgment here at this hospital that you destroyed instead of my courtroom where you made a mockery. Your Honor, you gotta admit, we did do a good job in defending ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you didn't, Dr. Lemon. Did you notice how the prosecuting attorney used your closing argument verbatim as his closing argument? That is not true, Your Honor. I wrote my submission first, and he stole it from me. I, well, I did take some liberties. You arrogant, condescending son of a bitches think that you're lawyers? You're not! You're doctors! Really bad doctors who should have had really good lawyers. You're not gonna find us guilty, are you? Oh, you damn right I'm gonna find you guilty. Judge, you can't. I saved your son's life. You're a doctor. That's what you're supposed to do, doctor. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, Chairman. You worked on the judge's son. Yes, first I shot his son, then I saved his life, yada, yada, yada. Judge, I demand that you tell us what happened with the shooting. To Dr. Renard's credit, it was an accident. And? Pretty funny story. <laughs> you yeah, shooting my son is not relevant to this case, nor is the fact that you saved his life. I'll tell you what is relevant. What you bastards did to this hospital. Well, oops, there it is. We got a mistrial. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this trial didn't go correctly because I didn't do it. I didn't do it either. I definitely did it, but I loved it. And I would do it again. This well, son of a you bitch. This is the guilty guy hey, right hey, here. I've been pitching him on a drug-induced coma for months now. And I keep telling you, I'm completely fine with that. No mistrial, no comas. That would be too easy for you pack of jackasses. You are so lucky I don't have the right to castrate you. Your Honor, now I've been researching it, and I think I found a loophole that you may be happy to hear. Judge, you have to legally declare a mistrial here. I shot your son even if it was by accident. Oh, wait, wait, Judge, Judge, Judge Your Honor, Your Honor, I would actually like to hear about that shooting. It actually sounds kind of funny. Actually, it is a little funny. You see, the judge's son, he's a little strange. Well, I didn't want to you know, say anything. What? <laughs> Dr. Renard! What? There's nothing wrong with being strange, right? And that's not the reason I shot him. You were hunting while texting. And he was dressed like a deer. It was a ballet, Swan Lake. Oh, it's my fault that they were putting on a show in the middle of the woods? It was a zoo! Well, what better place to hunt? Your Honor, let the record reflect that that's hardly even funny. Oh, that's it. That's it! I'm rendering my decision right now. Well, oh, wait a minute, wait. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just playing ping pong. But you were naked with your patients. I'm a plastic surgeon. I need to see them naked. And the giant pile of cocaine? I it was a pre-op procedure? Guilty, Dr. Gable. Well, why me? Why me? Why you? Why you? Because, because you sold body parts. Body parts! So? They were dead people. You can't profit from selling kidneys and whatnot, Lynn. I wasn't. I was barely breaking even. That's so. Dr. McShay, it's too horrible to even say what you did. Then can I say it? Well, I agree with you, Your Honor. What he did was horrible. Dr. Lemon, did you not understand that you cannot tattoo people while they are in surgery? Well, they did sign an informed consent document. For the surgeries, not for the roadmaps that you tattooed on them. Look, I'll agree to plead guilty if you'll agree that my last two were really cool. Judge, we haven't even gotten to the funny part of the shooting yet. If you cut me off before I finish, then I'll really end up looking like a scumbag. You are a scumbag! And the reason for this hospital's demise. Shall I read the charges? 
Shall I read the... Selling x-ray machines. Selling surgical equipment. Yeah. All the prescription drugs for your own personal profit. No. You threw a rave in this hospital. A rave. Look at this place. What? It was a great party. Oh, what did you expect? Ah, you crazy. Yeah. You're not really great party. We're there. We're there. Yeah, I came in. Dr. Renard, the swift foot of justice is now going to kick you in the ass. Since the state has seized this hospital, I now have the right to sentence all of you to live here in this hospital under hospital arrest for the next three years. Now that oh, ain't no, fair. Are you I didn't even get any promise. Just, no you can't 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 this place is a reversing. Exactly. You made it this way, and now you are going to fix it. All of it. If any of you even so much as steps outside, I will sentence you to a maximum security prison for 10 years. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. There will be a warden. There will be a security chief. There will be guards. There will be crappy food. And I will see to it that more corrupt doctors join you here as prisoners. Together, you all are going to restore this beautiful hospital to the once fine institution that it was. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to go with castration. <laughs> Uh, oh. 